Welcome to Education Lifeline. Today, we'll be solving compound inequalities involving OR. Now, if you haven't watched our previous video, which is solving compound inequalities involving AND, it will be linked in the description below, as well as in the top right-hand corner of your screen. Please watch that video before watching this one. So an example of a compound inequality with OR would be 4, x minus 1 is less than 15 or there's the or 8x is greater than or equal to 48. Now when we have compound inequalities with or we have to solve each inequality separately. So in the first inequality we can add 1 to both sides and that leaves us with 4x, bring down the less than sign, 4x is less than 15 plus 1, or 16. Divide both sides by 4, and we are left with x is less than 16 divided by 4, which is 4. On the second inequality, we just have to divide both sides by 8, and we're left with x is greater than or equal to 48 divided by 8, or 6. Now since we have two equations, we can graph both equations on our number line and then combine it on the final number line. So our first inequality is x is less than 4. So if 4 was right here, we would put an open dot at 4, since it's less than and not less than or equal to. And its x is less than or equal to 4, so we're going to be moving to the left, because that's where all the numbers become smaller. That would be our graph for the first inequality. Our second inequality would, is x is greater than or equal to 6. So if 6 was right here, we would put a closed dot at 6 because it's greater than or equal to. And we're going to be moving to the right because that's where the numbers get bigger. Now we can just combine both of the number line together to get a graph that looks like this. And that would be the graph of a compound inequality. Now, you don't have to do the first two steps of drawing two number lines. We could, if you're only given one number line, you could graph both inequalities on one number line. So in this case, we'll have four right here and six right here. So you can go ahead and graph the points. You could put a open circle for 4 since it is less than, and since it's greater than or equal to, we put a closed dot at 6, and x is less than 4, like this, and x is greater than or equal to 6, like this. Also, make sure you remember to write your solution like this. Don't forget to add the 4. So, most of your compound inequalities involving OR will have a graph looking like this. But, if we have a compound inequality like x is less than or equal to 7, or x is greater than or equal to negative 1 and we are given a number line to graph we'll look a tad bit different so since the x's are already isolated we need to graph a point for negative 1 and a point for 7 and since both of them are either less than or equal to or greater than or equal to we have closed dots at negative 1 and at 7. 
Now x is less than or equal to 7, which means we're going to graph a line moving to the direction in the left. And since x is greater than or equal to 1, we will plot a line moving to the right from the point negative 1. And the graph looks something like this. And in this case, all real numbers are solutions to this inequality. If this video was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe to Education Lifeline. Be sure to watch our previous videos and check the description below for other helpful resources. Thanks for watching.